Okay, next we want to find the average rate of change, f of x this time is 3 minus sine x. And it says over the interval, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So sometimes they may give you x1 and x2, otherwise they might put it into an interval form. If they give it to you in an interval form like that, then we know that x1 is negative pi over 2, x2 is going to be pi over 2. So that's what they tell us when they give us an interval. So now we're going to do the same formula that we talked about before. We're going to do f of x2 minus f of x1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so we're going to do this part off on the side. We want to do uh, put each of these. So really what we're doing is we're going to do f of x2 pi over 2 and we're going to be doing minus f of negative pi over 2. On the bottom we're going to subtract those. Pi over 2 minus negative pi over 2, so be careful with the negatives there, you have a double negative uh, happening down below. These, let's do that off to the side. Okay, we're going to first do f of pi over 2. This is going to be 3 minus sine pi over 2. So yes, uh, in calculus, one of the hardest part about calculus is just trying to remember all the things that you've done in previous classes before. You should know these values here, uh, the unit circle. So if you don't have those values memorized yet, I highly recommend that you at least memorize the ones between 0 and pi over 2 because these are the ones that usually come up the most often. So you want to make sure you know those values and know what that is from the unit circle. So if you were to grab that value off the unit circle, it's a, it's a y value when your angle is pi over 2, that's going to be 1. So I have 3 minus 1, this part's 1, and I get 2. So I know that f of pi over 2, that's going to be 2. Next, f of negative pi over 2 is 3 minus sine negative pi over 2. Okay, This right here, negative pi over 2, is the same thing as 270 degrees or 3 pi over 2. The y value down there is negative 1. So I have f of negative pi over 2 equals 3 minus negative 1. f of negative pi over 2 is equal to uh, 4. So when I plug everything back into this formula, okay, we're following this. So f of pi over 2, got that, that's 2 minus 4 over, okay, when I subtract this one, I get pi over 2 plus pi over 2. I'm going to get 2 pi over 2, which actually just simplifies down to pi. So again, you get basically a whole pi when you add that. Again, negative negative gives you a positive. When you subtract this, then the last thing you want to do is simplify that, and this will be your final answer. So this time our slope is going to be an expression like this. Uh, it's still a number, though. We can calculate it if we want to, but we can just leave it in the exact form like this. Uh, so it's going to be... Uh, once we put in the values, again these two values came off of the work that we did over here, the 2 and the 4, those are the values that we got by putting these in. Plug them in here, subtract them, again that's your, your exact value, that's your average slope on that interval.